Wait till it's only boys in here. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? You uh, you have become death, dude. <laughs> you have absolutely become death. I'm on empty stomach farts, dude. I have no friends, dude. I'm I gotta, a loser. I gotta, I gotta find this. I'm fucking... a loser. That's what my that one priest in my school said. If someone farted on empty stomach, they went, <laughs> "Boy, he just farted loud." The priest was like, "Boys, that's what happens. When you don't eat your breakfast. You fart really loud." And guess what? He doesn't have any friends. <laughs> he's farting, and nobody likes him. <laughs> <laughs> Billy McMillan. I don't farting. know if he knows this. That gets you a lot of friends, dude. Yeah, Billy. Kid McMillan who farts is... in school, dude. That's a legend. Billy McMillan is a fucking man, dude. Yeah. I think he was the one who wrote 666 on the chalkboard. Bro, the class. Or no, no, I think someone else did. I think actually it was either me or my cousin, but he took the heat. <laughs> my bad. Now I think about it. I think I was running notes for his class and somebody did. I forget who did it. I want to yeah. steal Valor. It was either me, Pat, or Billy McMillan, dude. The triumvirate. But dude, this dude was so fucking funny. Fart, in school farts, dude. Dusty DeFrank used to fucking. Dude. My boy Dusty used to. He would come up to you during class. He would stand in the middle of class and go, I have to pass gas. Who should I pass it to? Oh. And I, you got to pick the victim. And he would put his ass on their desk and fart. Oh. <laughs> so it, was the, it was It's the funniest thing possible. Getting fake hooked on opiates would be so funny. Just lying? Faking, yeah. Faking the funk. Just being like, yeah, bro. I'm fucking, I'm on skag. Yeah. I got to blow guys. <laughs> That's how high I get. <laughs> I get so high I got to do the worst thing. Yeah, I thought about that. If, if people will eat each other under like very extreme circumstances, is there a comparable situation for sexual drive? Because like that's like, you know, everyone's prison. like, I, I would, you, yeah, true. You think it is prison? Prison is. Yeah, the, if it's like well, never, I guess I'm going to fuck guys' asses. True. Never thought I'd do that. Yeah. I have no desire to. And he realized. Some peanut butter in that crack though. Oh. That feels good. That must be crazy, though, when you're like, the answer was all around me. It was just guys' asses. Guys' butts this whole time. I could have just fucked guys' butts this whole <laughs> fucking time. It's M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> twist. It was guys' butts the whole time. I just thought they'd be hairy and gross, but it turns out once you get inside them, it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, nothing matters. It feels so good. Close my eyes and think about everything. Think about my wife. My former True. wife. True. That's hetero. I wonder what she's doing. <laughs> yeah. That's Sad. gotta be. Although I would say I'd ask the guy to be quiet. Like, don't make yeah. any noises. <clears throat> <laughs> if the guy was like, "Oh," I'd be like, "Dude, yeah, well, you like it?" I'm closing my eyes and thinking about my wife, dude. Yeah, I'm. I'm up next, dude. I was gonna let you do me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if the guys in prison ruin it with the noises. Now, probably. You could do that. Just for any advice, if you go to jail and yeah. you know you're going to be a bottom. Yeah. There's th there's tricks. Yeah, true. Make, although they probably just immediately stuck your mouth pop. with your own underwear. True. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, pig. Yeah, true. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I mean, dude, right now, somewhere in the world, there's some terrible condition, like a fucking jail in just like Belize where someone's flashing a sharp knife at someone right fucking now as we speak. Someone's going, some guy with like a silver tooth yeah. is going, I want to come. Come here. You are the one I pick. It's probably, it's probably happening to a dozen people right now. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. But think about the dozen dudes that are getting ahead on the beach life. right now. Having Pirates fun. Yeah. Not to get, not to ones committed oh, okay. gay rape. I'm talking <laughs> about guys having a good time. Oh, for sure. There's a dozen of those guys too. Right now it's nighttime in Australia. There's probably so many Australians people in Australia are probably getting head. nuts getting head right now. Yeah. Oh, that's it. No. Oh. <laughs> you make me fucking calm. <laughs> I'm about to fucking calm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. Came in my fucking Sheila's mouth last night. <laughs> What a boy job. <laughs> what a complete boy job. <laughs> you fucking cum. <laughs> Australia, Australians rule, dude. I've been, uh, we were watching 90 Day Fiance. It's the jam. What a, what a, I had no idea. that. If you've got a lady in your house, Put watch on. that. That's something yeah. everybody can enjoy. It's blues yeah. clues for chicks. It is. <laughs> Girls will sit there all day. But you can get it. But yeah, it's fun to watch. It's fun. Because you, you, why it's, why it's fun to watch it as a guy is... You see the guys Ooh. that are going for either the puss or the citizenship. Yeah. But the guys going for the... But you can just see the faces of dudes. 
both of them just getting wrecked. The fat yeah. guy with the Russian chick that he was just like, wanted that yeah. pussy. You see that guy like, oh fuck. And then the Moroccan with the big dog. Yeah, the yeah. Shrek. Who are dude? Who do you feel just, worse for? Uh, the, uh, the Moroccans. <laughs> trying so hard. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you right now. Physically, take, physically, yeah, I feel worse for the Moroccan. Yeah, yeah, because he's gonna have to get in that bowl of pudding eventually. <laughs> yeah, he's ducking it so uh, hard. He's ducking it hard. I got a feeling he's not gonna hate it. I mean, I feel like you're not gonna hate he's it gonna the way smell. that you like. Oh, he's Mar- don't like something you have to do. <laughs> what did you say? You racist? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. I want to hear that. He said it was one thing he wouldn't like is the smell. Oh, and yeah. then he goes, oh, he's Moroccan. He's fine with it. Don't get tough of that. <laughs> Hot summers in Morocco. He's fine. But the guy I feel the Ball worst for is the dude that loves the Russian chick because what he wants is completely unattainable. Yeah. No, but it is. He can just give her ten thousand dollars a week. But and everybody in his like life that. is yeah. gonna go. You're a fucking loser, and he's yeah. gonna go. I you know, little Bill, <laughs> little Bill Weathers. Little Bill Weathers. I had a good dude. ride. Yeah. <laughs> if he hits it once, yeah, yeah. it's going to be worth yeah. it for him. For oh. sure. <laughs> oh, he's going to nut and he's going to be like, this is the best. And she's going to be like, fucking clawing it out of her, being like, you stinky fat <laughs> fuck. <laughs> like, I thought you loved go, me. Look, I don't give a fuck, lady. I just <laughs> she's going to make him like a bonked right in your pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just took it to Sarajevo. <laughs> but yeah, him getting an ounce of pride while they're driving would have been so just middle of traffic, just like you know what? <laughs> hop what? out. Why don't you pulls hop out? over? Just it's get the, out. It's the it's the Take your shit and get the fuck out. It's the hazards. He goes, yeah. What's your fucking deal? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Do you not want to be here? so good to you? <laughs> I rented a hotel. <laughs> Yeah. It's a fuck, nice hotel. I'm fuck. I am fuck. I'm in the I'm because of your cause of fat you. tits. I'm in the red. <laughs> Do you understand that? I'm in the fucking red because of you. That poor guy. Yeah. And his fucking hot sister telling him. That's why yeah. I, I feel a yeah, sister with the fucking hot sister's a problem. She can sniff out that fucking. She knows. She's been there. Yeah, yeah, they speak Klingon. Yeah. They know how to fucking. Yeah, she's like, I don't respect that I, bitch at all. I, I know I, what she's doing. She had an tell- ugly sister. She'd be like. Your wife's beautiful. I understand why you're doing this. Yeah, but, but a, a hot, hot sister. Hot sister's like, get that slut out of here. Yeah, Send sure. her back to the front lines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's stolen valor. She knows what it is. Mm-hmm. She's like, you don't love this guy. You're just coming here for our stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you don't love George. Oh, Jorge, dude. Big Jorge with a Russian whore. Did they ever say what he does, like for work? I don't know. I but watch it. I bet once it comes out, everyone in the office is like, we saw what you're doing. One guy's like, Nice. Yeah. He's like sick. Get that (laughs) Russian. He goes, You got that Russian (laughs) Punane. Trying to to fuck all that (laughs) Russian. She was bad as shit. Like 20 years old. The bad little Russian. Just just extra ass. I forgot she was only venti. Oh yeah. (laughs) <laughs> but then I was telling you when we were watching, she has that crib rod on her. She's, yeah. clearly, she's, clearly, she's clearly left in a crib in an old hospital and not touched for two years. I hope they're still together, dude. Just fighting it out. Dude, what's crazy is they do after the 90 days. Yeah. That shit's wild. Yeah. Because they get through it and then you see like real relationships. I've made problems. a huge mistake. Yeah. <laughs> One lady got pregnant. She's like, I don't want to be here anymore. And you're like, dude, you're in. You're locked in. Idiot. Gang life. This was it? Was she out. in? Like, was she? A, I went there. Or was she? I brought somebody. This was. Uh, she got brought. In. Yeah. Somebody okay. was telling me there was. I didn't see it. There was a white chick from like Germany that went and lived in like an African tribe, like huts. Oh, and the wow. guy had like three other wives. Oh, that's so <laughs> he funny. just had one German from the internet. <laughs> <laughs> he was the man. You want to say that's a yeah. crazy He's thing to man, pull dude. off? A pull. <laughs> yeah. Him coming back going. I know you are used to this living situation, <laughs> but I have a new wife. And she's like, Danke! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Helga, just fucking giant white lady. Yeah, talking to the other guy, I was like, whoa, dude. I yeah. can't believe that word. I got a fucking how did white you, lady in there. How did you do that? He walks out, he's like, <laughs> they are not getting along. Cats and dogs. He just makes Cats the face. And dogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm the chief now. Guys, look, look. Yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah. Dude, even the chief is jealous. <laughs> how did you do that? Internet. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. <laughs> how, did you, how did you get that big white guy? And he goes, Insta Messenger. They're just surrounded by it, looking yeah. at it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? There's been an influx of giant this white ladies in the tribe. In my own, I can't even take laser tag as serious Are you as serious? I should. 
Yeah, you start running a little, and then you truck a kid. I don't like have a- any, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I laser tagged with Brittany yeah, as hard as you can years ago. It was me. I think it was just me, and she had a little kid in her. T- it was just us three. So hard not me to versus Brittany, kids. and then there was a weird little kid, like an Indian kid who was yeah. like ten years old. Dude, I was universal like, soldier. Yeah. I was no, it was just me versus those two. The bit, no, so I know, I but I, oh, versus them, versus oh, those two, and death. I went as hard as I could yeah. and fucking destroyed them. You, and you can catch mm. people not trying. You just walk up and shoot oh, them dude, a thousand yeah. times. Dude. You know, dude, you, <laughs> from point blank. Just, dude, stop. Dude, give stop. And they're dude, like, stop. Mister, Mr., what are you doing? <laughs> dude, laser tag. Laser tag's sick, dude. Laser tag fucking rules, dude. Up, fucking... I went as hard. I was jumping. I was running and jumping, fucking turning sideways to, ki- to keep yeah, the fucking. Yeah, you hold it. You get then. Then they, the kids telling you for cheating. You shut the fuck, <laughs> oh. fuck off, dude. Just shoot his back. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that so dude, many that's times. A, dude. Yeah, that's the technique. Of it. Oh, like, we had. Oh. We had. Oh, I must have talked about this before. It was the sick. Growing up, the half my neighborhood wasn't developed, so it was just piles of dirt. Kids went out there and dug trenches. We had foxholes and trenches, oh, and sick. we all bought those fucking gray laser tag packs. You remember those? It's like the red light in the center, and we all played laser tag, and it was uh, it was fucking awesome. Time of my life. God, it was yeah. the best time of my life. Of course, yeah. easily the best time yeah, of my life. By, the, by far, yeah. not even close. Yeah, dude. No. yeah. Nothing. You just learned how to swear. Mud. Just learned how to swear. I'd be like, "What's up, oh. motherfuckers?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> God then you'd damn. hear people hit the reset on there. You'd be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the very fuck? <laughs> you'd just hear like, sector nine. Hey, stop, dude. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that's funny. It'll never be better than that. You can you can go hard in laser tag. No one will judge you. You know, I'm too big, dude. I got judged. When was the last time? Last time I went laser tag was the last time I went. Three or four years. For real, like six years ago. That was like my dad had jizz on his pants. What was like your nephew's birthday or something? Oh, uh, uh, my niece, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we all went, and uh, I tried to go as hard as I could. It's too dark, and there's everybody's. There's just little kids. Yeah, dude, it was war, yo, there. war as hell. I know, but trucking, be a, trucking a kid at the sports emporium in Lancaster, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be that guy. Just fucking leveling a kid, dude. Trying to trying to sneak to the satellite in the back to. Sh- Oh, to get it. Get as many as you can while another kid kid just sits right in front of you going. Running. (laughs) There's three people gather around you. And then the thing goes off and you go. You got to walk back to your side. (laughs) It's so hard not to go as wild as you can, dude. Start sweating your ass off. (laughs) I got blessed. I got blessed with just wide open. empty terrain. Wide open space, dude. It was crazy. When I was a kid, I went to one in York with my cousin. And they had the upper levels. There was like. You could go upstairs stop. and shoot down. I was like, "This is, this is it." Dude, escape rooms are nasty too. I have never been to one. I'm so into so what, escape rooms. Yeah. So you got to figure out clues to get out of the room. Yeah. yeah well, it's not even. <laughs> is that what it is? It'd be it's, awesome to spaz in there and just break through. <laughs> just, <laughs> just break through the door. <laughs> We're never getting out. <laughs> there's usually there's you're in a room, then you solve the puzzle, and like a door opens, and you go into another room. That's usually the final piece of the puzzle. Mm. It's like a, it's like a gambling flow state. You're just like. It's awesome. Then it ends, and you're like, oh, dude, I only asked for two hints. Oh, that was so fucking sick. Yeah, he's oh, so it's smart. It's intense, and there's like a it's time It's very limit. intense. I, I it's that, that thing I understand. I don't really have a thing with gambling, but I, I understand there's like a flow state you hit. I hit the flow state yeah. in the escape rooms. It's like, dude, me and Brittany back-to-back, like three of them one time. And I went home, and I was looking at my rug tag, and I li- I started to decode it. Like, it was a hint, and I was like, dude, get out. <laughs> yeah. You're locked in. So you start decoding everything in the room. It's so you're locked fun. in. Post surgery aggression. Oh, dude. dude. So funny. I was on fentanyl, dude. I, I I did not hold it against you one bit. Well, you know what's funny? I remember making that vi- post surgery video and I'm like, oh, per- post surgery video, this will be funny. And the whatever that shit did to me, halfway through making that, I got ang- w- setting out going like, this will be funny. Halfway through that video, I got angry. Yeah. And I was like, get the, get the fucking out of my face. Before, before Matt went into surgery, I was talking to his wife and him and I was saying, please. I was talking to Brittany, and yeah. I was like, dude, film him after surgery. Yeah. It's going to be funny. Yeah. I got a video of Matt g- getting put into a car, and he was like, get that fucking shit out of my face. I said, he goes, say hi to Shane. He goes, is this what you wanted, you sick fuck? <laughs> 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 if 
funny, dude. You're so you're so out. I mean, I was not like there was no part of me that was like, what the fuck? No, I was like, but I I texted Brittany. I was like, I'll never share this. It's totally fine. But yeah. Then you. Like, what I'm funny. trying to tell you is, I was like, this will be funny. And you as I started to talk, sick I just instantly became angry. As soon as I was like, this will be funny, and I was like. Get that fucking cat, and I started getting just angry right away. And yeah, but because like, of the thing, you could like barely, you couldn't really talk. Couldn't so you talk. were just like, I, "Get the fucking shit out of my face, man!" Is this what you wanted? You sick fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you sick fuck! I couldn't tell if it was to me or Brittany, but either way, it's so fucking funny, dude. It was so Is this funny. what you wanted? You fucking sick fuck! <laughs> <laughs> it's just like we wanted your nose to hurt. <laughs> Dude. Great, are you happy? You fucking sick bastards. <laughs> Dude, I came out of that thing and I was so sweet and nice. I came yeah. out of surgery and I went, oh, hey, good job, everybody. And they're like, relax, <laughs> yeah. sit down, take it easy. You guys did so good. Dude, I literally, tell. I was hyping them up because I was just happy yeah. I was alive. So I came out, I was like, oh, wow, good job, everybody. Real nice. Like, sit, relax. It's all right. Sir? We'll, we'll get you some food because you couldn't eat all. I couldn't eat since yeah. like uh, midnight. And I, it was done at like four o'clock p.m. And then, uh, so then they came back and they were like, we're going to give you a little something for the pain. I was like, yeah, right on, right on. And after, right away, I was right like, what did you give me? And they're like, fentanyl. And I was like, what? You're going to fucking kill me. What the hell did you give me yet? You guys are going to kill dude, me. Dude, is I, this what you wanted, bitch? You fucking <laughs> sick fuck, dude. <laughs> you fat Dude, I instantly nurse became bitch. the nastiest, yeah. I became the nastiest <laughs> dude ever. The nastiest dude. Dude. <laughs> I was driving home with Brittany just on fentanyl, just being like, the fuck out of here. Everybody on heroin is a fucking asshole, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, for real. Yeah. I, I remember my friend telling me that opiates make you real mean and like nasty. And I was like, I never really saw Dude, I was, dude, I, if she said anything to me, I, I was like, dude, relax. And I'd be like, what? And I would just, you, there was no. <laughs> with the bandage. Oh, what? <laughs> dude, it was all night until I fell asleep. I was spazzing, dude. Uh, and then I took the trauma dolls. Uh, <laughs> dude. And are you okay? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch my nose. Don't even come so near I got to change the bandage. That shit, don't touch it's my nose. Dude, I was <laughs> fucking crazy. That stuff is evil, dude. Yeah. That stuff is so bad. I yeah. was so nasty. The next morning I woke I knew what I did. I woke up and I was like <laughs> <laughs> I know what I did. Yeah, dude. Welcome to my world of blacking out on alcohol. You wake up, you go, holy shit. I know what I did. And everyone's like, You didn't do anything, you were fine. I'm like, everybody hates me, I'm sure of it. Oh. The worst part was that it was like weird because I was like when when you're drunk, you're just like Bleh. I'd be like all right, man, take it. He's fucking hurt the fuck out. Yeah. I could not. Get that shit the fuck out of my it face. It was crazy. Don't touch my fucking I said don't touch my Why are you going to touch shit like that all the fucking time? Every time I got a bruise, you got to fucking touch it. Dude, I was spazzing. That's nice, though. It was, yeah. I'm happy that happened. I put her on notice, bro. I hit the fence. You got to show her, her what happens. You got to just True. so you know this dog is in here. It's a dog, dude. She got. A I've been fucking caging this up for you. Yeah. yeah. But just so you know. <laughs> It exists. <laughs> this is a current I, I fucking mitigate within myself. You know what's really funny is I would never forgive someone. What? For if I brought home a lady and like if, if I had a wife and she was acting like that, I'd be like, you're a fucking bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you acted like a bitch all day yesterday. She got me the next day. She was like, you were a little cranky yesterday. That's you nice, were though. You were so, I know, she said, you were so mean. I was like, you were touching my fucking nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're back on it. You're, like, <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you get off my fucking nose. I was on the trauma, dude. I was on the trauma dolls. Dude, dude, apparently Anthony Kiedis, that was what knocked him out of sobriety. When he was doing heroin, he stopped heroin, was clean for like 10 years. He got surgery on his teeth. He went back. The dude was telling yeah. some dude hit me up on Twitter. He was like, dude, trauma doll sent him back onto the bridge. Yeah, he went back. He took the dog painkillers, dude, <laughs> back onto the bridge. <laughs> let it out he Dude, got they are, i'm telling you there i was like researching them the whole time for those four days like what the <laughs> fuck are these things and there's like a I, I read arrowhead all the time they talk like dudes will like write about their experiences and you get like auditory hallucinations from them if you take too many of them it's fucking crazy <laughs> being mean and having auditory hallucinations just like what <laughs> i said get off my nose what'd you say dude then i, I kept having dreams once I still had the plugs in. Towards the end, when I knew the plugs were coming out, I was like, because they're all like, a, they're really annoying. They have these things jammed up your nose. But then Ugh. they feel like they're fortifying it. So I was relieved to get them taken out, but it makes you feel kind of exposed. Yeah. So the next two days when they got, when they came out, I was so worried about people hitting me in the face. I would have dreams where I'd, like, I'd wake up in extreme pain and it would be me grabbing my nose. And I was having dreams Jesus. grabbing my face. 
So in my sleep, I was grabbing my nose and squeezing it and being like, ah! <laughs> you bitch, like, you did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just literally you dreaming. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Who's hitting me? <laughs> Brittany, what the fuck? Who's the dead man who just <laughs> hit me? Oh, shit. <laughs> I was just fucking hitting yeah, me. Shit, or I was going like this. And like scrunch my face real hard so that yeah. it hurt my neck. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was, dude, it was the worst. Ah! <laughs> 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 the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing this to me? Dude, I instantly smack it. And Brittany, I fucking grab my nose again. Just instantly <laughs> going to her. Brittany, Brittany, I fucking did it again. Oh, oh I, man. I think I, I fucked would, it up. I would kill you. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I would have spiked that fentanyl. I would be like, we're giving you three doses. <laughs> oh. I'm suing the hospital. I'm killing oh. you. <sighs> they had a homeless, uh, like a mental health shelter or whatever. Uh, insane asylum, whatever they're called. And they had one, they knocked it down. So that's why their homeless are so bad. Yeah. He was saying the reason they knocked it down was because it was in a, in a again, I, this is what I thought he was saying. It was in one of the council members' districts. And he, he was claiming the council member was like, I don't want all the homeless people in my district. So they knocked it down. Like, we'll build three separate ones so we can divvy these guys up. Yeah. But then I was talking to some of the people that live there. And they were like, that's bullshit. They're building condos <laughs> right where that homeless place was. They knocked it down. They're building condos now. So someone got paid. Someone got the bag. Yeah. And then it's like you, all these dudes are dispersed and you can come out. And, I'm not saying he's doing this. They need like, to put these insane asylums a little outside of the city. This, it, was right, it was but right down in the heart of the fucking city every mm-hmm. time. Yeah, but you, you also got Austin keep, has that one right across from Creek in the Cave. You got to keep them like they can't like they got to be like right near a bus thing. These dudes need to be it's full service. These guys yeah. are royalty, dude. They need they to be really are. Around. Should get carriages, very nice carriages. Dude, I, I, whatever. I, as I was talking to homeless stuff too, and I'm like, I was like, do you know anyone who wants to just drop everything and just deal with homeless people all day? I've not met one person. Because that's what it's going to take. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. everyone's like, we got to do this. It's like, are you going to do it? Yeah, are you, are you. I knew one person who worked with the homeless, and they burn out like pretty pretty quickly, and they were like, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. You're like setting up meetings. You're like, I'll meet you. It's like meeting someone in like 1945. You're like, I'll meet you yeah. at the corner of the street on Friday. And they're like, you're like, they're never there. They're never going to be there. It's so hard. It's impossible. And this guy was like, dude, we have to come like pull them out of the cold. They get frostbite. So they come and like pull that them out. That is one thing that's good for Salt Lake is it yeah. does. They do get cleared out every he every was, few months. Denver too. Dude, Rocky. The boys was like, survive in Denver too. It's crazy. They make it through those winters. Those guys, you would think with the, the homeless fortitude to survive in harsh elements, they'd be <laughs> valuable in society. They're not. <laughs> we should let them climb. They should be climbing. They might be climbers. That could be good for us. Yeah. It's just just I mean, the... it's not going to benefit anybody, but just have guys climbing <laughs> shit. <laughs> that could help. I I have said we need before, to start shipping them though. They need countries. to get sponsored. No, they need sponsors. They need to get racing like yeah, racing yeah, jackets, like M and M's, Red Bull. Yeah, you can just give them like fifty bucks a month and have like they'll fly your shit. Sponsor. We should sponsor homeless dudes. Yeah, that's what I, that's what yeah. I might start yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. And just like whatever you want I'm, to do with the I'm money. Hold a sign at outside of thirtieth. Wasn't that an idea? Which one? Oh, Thirty Street for Matt and Chains. Yeah. Not a bad idea. We don't need billboards. We need to give a signage. bunch of homeless guys signage. Hold this. Like, sign. don't worry about money. I'm taken care of by Matt and Chance. Matt and Chance Secret, Secret Podcast. Podcast. Save me. <laughs> I'm fucking high as shit. <laughs> Thanks, Matt and Shane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's really weird. We could start paying homeless people to climb stuff. True. I think that would. I think people would. What a parkour. Parkour is hard parkour as they can. Team? Put together a wild homeless parkour team. Now we're just bad. fifty this, dudes parkouring. This is F, was it C O F? Yeah, was it was the C O F? Basically, dude. Bishop Sycamore. <laughs> Bishop Sycamore. That would be sick, dude. Homeless to scam your way into putting together a homeless football team <laughs> and make them play IMG. <laughs> well, dude, it's it's one of those things. That the it's plays like, they would run would be oh revolutionary. My God, dude, revolutionary. It would be crazy. It would, it would be it would be like fourteen water. Bo- they'd be having water boys. It'd be like when a cat gets on the field during a game. <laughs> like people would have to chase them. They'd they'd be so fast. <laughs> they'd be so hard to catch out there. <laughs> hey, get your fucking hands off me, mother! Just fucking oh, break dude, the tackle. Hit him with some fucking dust. Get the boys dusted before the game. Oh my god! <laughs> Set them out of the tunnel. <laughs> They wouldn't stay on the field. They'd run straight no, to the bleachers. They'd start you climbing. Could, you couldn't keep them on the field, dude. No. <laughs> They just set up. T- they set up camp. Right they would just <laughs> set up camp. There'd be nothing you could do to get rid of them, dude. It is funny though, because it's like there's these dudes that are just like, 
I mean, obviously they're getting, they don't have any money. They're fucked up mentally. And it's yeah. like, nobody knows what to do with these guys. Except for Rocky, the mayor of Salt Lake. He's like, I'm going to build places for them. We're good. He said they had it totally under control. And he was like, and then the shit fucking fell apart. And he was like, you know, I, I retired. And the shit fell apart. Yeah. I think it's, I don't know. I, I, obviously, I don't know enough about it. But it looks yeah. like it looks like it's beyond all repair. Yeah. It looks like we need to stop future generations from being homeless and just kind of let these boys ride. True. Because there's no fixing k &A. No, you can't. There's nothing. You got If you see like a young kid with a stick and a bandana, you got to take it from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. If you see a boss, <laughs> if you see a rich boss walking around. <laughs> Dude, it sucks. Like, it, it was, there's like, yeah, it's it's just terrible. But there really is. There's, I don't think there's anything anyone football can do. Football league. Like, the what? Every single, every city needs to put together a homeless football Should be league. mandatory. We should do the draft for football should have for Olympics, kids. Annual Olympics, homeless Olympics. Each city gets represented by their homeless. That'd be actually pretty sick. It'd be fun. I think we could at least generate some ad revenue and people would watch it. True. And let the boys stay in place. They just became like Olympi like early Greek like yeah. Olympian athletes. It's like, Naked. look, you guys are pro athletes. Yes. Just focus on your training. No, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, I think I think you're I think you're right. I think it's a lost cause. Uh, yeah. Because those guys are have to be institutionalized. Either they're totally crazy, in which they need to be institutionalized, yeah. or they're they like can't hold down a crib. Yeah. Which is like, all right, now you need cash, and it's a matter of like you might give a dude cash, he gets a new, he puts up with a good foot or whatever. We could help them, or we could donate all of our money to Ukraine so that we can buy up their farmland. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. <clears throat> yeah, we could build houses for those guys. Yeah. But, but again, it's a lot of, you know. Yeah. It's a lot of scratch. It's a lot of yeah. scratch, a lot of maintenance. Being pro-homeless is a tough cause, too, because even, like, all the liberal voters <clears throat> are But you're in, saying pro, keep them outside? No, just being like, we need programs to help them. Oh, okay. People are like, I don't want to spend money. I hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, and even the people that would vote for it, the liberals, are in the city. They, they're around these guys constantly, and they're like, yeah. that's probably one issue. They're all like... That's what I'm saying. I, I, it's a lot of lip service. Everyone yeah. pays lip service to it. And it's like, yeah, we got to do something. It's like, bro, what's stopping you? I gave a homeless guy a bottle of water this weekend. I don't want to brag Just For again. the record. Dude, I, down and around Helium, I gave someone the coat off my back, dude. Wow. Last winter. You were trying to get rid of that jacket. Yeah, yeah, it's an old one. <laughs> You're done with that jacket. <laughs> I was just hoping I was on somebody's security camera. I'm like, yeah, that'll probably go yeah, viral, dude. Help. Yeah. Looked back. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Yes, it is I. Bishop Sycamore. I was wearing, I was like, actually, I had like a hoodie on and a big ugly jacket. And I was like, yeah, you can have this one. Yeah, two jackets. He was chilly, yeah. He was cold. You're like, yeah, we're in the Rockies. It was chilly. Actually, I, <laughs> I stole the jacket off my uncle. He left it at a family, or my, my uncle left it at my parents' house after yeah. a family party. He had a bum jacket. And I was like, you know what, you can have it. Yeah. They did that in Philly, man. Cleared it out. And, uh, after, during all those like riots and stuff, uh, Peaceful protests. Peaceful, sorry, peaceful protests. During all like the peaceful fire bombings on cop cars in Philadelphia, <laughs> yeah. they had they had uh they just took over a baseball field, and it was a full tent city, and everyone was like, "We're so close." The what? Get them pitching a little. Get oh, them throwing, true, it. True. Get them throwing <laughs> it around a little. They were angels on the outfield, dude. They were angel dust <laughs> on the outfield, dude. And they one day they came through and they just fucking cleared it, wrapped it up in a fence, and that was that. And it's like they fenced it all off. That does have to blow ass to be. <sighs> You're a homeless guy. You leave your tent for the night to go on your missions. Yeah. You come back from your missions. The whole tent city's gone. And you're like, fuck. Dude. It's bike cops, dude. You're, Fucking bike cops came bike and cops. smashed it. Dude, they come and they just like rip. They like tug a warrior tent from you. And then they like take the. This guy was saying that these people have like prescriptions and shit. And they'll just be like, toss them. I mean, dude, imagine being a cop and waking up. Like, what are we doing? Like, yo, you're shutting down a homeless camp. It's being like, fucking Christ. Yeah, there's got to be a little part of you that's like. I guarantee they're bro, like, dude, come on, man. fucking nuts. It's going to suck. Yeah, that does suck. Dude, ass. going into like domestic disturbances and like all that shit fucking Tearing blows. down truly mentally <laughs> disabled people's it's houses. Terrible. It's yeah, terrible. Yeah, that's really hard. Yeah, man. They got to. Well, no, the problem is they're not getting up at fucking 430. They need to they wake gotta up, up at 430. Go to the gym. Get sunlight, dude. They are getting sunlight. <laughs> so that does that does disprove the sunlight. True. Good point. Those boys are crushing. So actually, <laughs> they might be too powerful. They might have too much power. It's probably why they're mentally they're schizophrenic. True. They've developed multiple. They've become multiple souls from true, so much from sun. the sunlight. True. It's like splitting at it. They're just 
There's a new me. There's too much sun. No, I can't believe there's homeless. But the Phoenix homeless guys, Austin homeless is terrible. Yeah. That sucks. True, yeah. It's it's thick. It's so hot. It's thick. And you're just there. laying on a hot baked rock sidewalk. Although it's got to be kind of tight though once you once you do like it's probably, it's got to be nerve-wracking to be homeless. I'm sure I'm sure it sucks the whole time, but once you're in a nice climate, you get one of like a nice easy going week, you hit they're hitting you with the food and you're just kind of kicking and bobbing around. Yeah. There's got to be a point where like I'm really doing this. Yeah, like I'm like, pulling this off. I'm for real doing this. I'm, I'm the celebrate. freest dude in the world. It's time for me to celebrate. <laughs> Let me try some of that heroin. <laughs> Play for the Eagles, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> that just one strong kid from the other school. I hated that. Oh, I hated kids, those so kids. Bigger and stronger, the and you jacked just... kid from the other schools out there. You gotta go. Fuck! I gotta block that kid. Yeah, exactly. You, Matt. It's always nice. He's gonna know, fuck me up. He's not my guy. And then you gotta watch him tear. Yeah, him watch him time. rip one of your friends' heads <laughs> off. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> this guy's killing us. Lemare, I wish you played football. You've been nice out there. I uh, I quit. <laughs> I wish you hadn't quit. You uh, you would have yeah. been good. Dude. You've been a nice nose guard. No, I hate it running. <laughs> yeah, that does blow. <laughs> yeah, that but was the worst. You've been a nice nose guard, dude. <laughs> True. Yeah. Low to the ground, strong. Yeah. You've been a problem on the D line. <laughs> you really fucking would. You would. Then if you drop enough weight, you'd be a fullback, lead block. You think a full point? You think he's, he's quick, dude? Four, I know. He's got a four point stance. I'd, I'd like to see him in a four point stance, <laughs> going forward, just diving forward. Good luck. Giving centers hell, dude. You'd be like, as soon as that ball lifted yeah. off the ground, you'd be... Shh. You'd be under there. <laughs> How do you feel about that? What's that make you think? I appreciate it. I don't know. I just can't play. I don't know. It was just... I don't like the waiting. There's a lot of waiting in football, even though there's still like a lot of action. There's still like a lot of waiting. No, trust me. When you're on the field, you're very happy there's waiting. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't wait to get the fuck off and get some water and sit down, dude. This sucks. <laughs> this hurts. This guy across from me is better than me. I got to get knocked out, get, get fucked up by him Football for three so, straight hours. Dude, it's so hard. Yeah. It's you just so get fucking rocked hard. by a dude for an hour and a half in front of your dad. <sighs> Somebody better than you, a better man. I think that was one of the reasons I quit because my parents couldn't come because they had to work. So mm. I was like, "What? Why am I even doing this?" Yeah, you're not even doing it to make your father proud. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I liked I liked when my parents didn't come. I hated when my parents were there. Oh, I I, yeah. I didn't like when they were there. Football was one thing; you couldn't see it. Basketball was like basketball is so embarrassing. They were right there, and I miss a shot and like look at them. Dude, and like, is Ooh. there any more pressure as a kid than getting fouled? Going to the oh. foul line in front of the entire gym and being like, please don't fucking airball this. I've, air, fucking, I've airballed him. I've airballed him. Yeah, dude, I've had something to slammed across the <laughs> side of the back. No rim, just straight backboard. People like, people for real, like audibly gasping. Oh. oh. See, I've, I've touched, I've done it where oh. I've touched nothing. Like you just miss the rim yeah, entirely. Full, and it's just yeah, like, hit the bottom of the net. Mentally fall out completely. You're like, yeah. fuck. You, you got to make a joke. You got to laugh. Four girls from our grade there. And you go, oh, the cheerleaders. Oh, you're red. I turned Dude, red, and I have my fucking. One time braces. I had to check in. I had the wrong jersey or something. I had to take my fucking shirt off <laughs> directly in front of the cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you become a high school coach. Something traumatic like that happens. You go, we got guys out there, and I know what it's like to take your shirt off in front of the fucking cheerleaders. That shit sucks. It's the worst day of your life. <laughs> you're never gonna recover, dude. Because you had tits in seventh grade. <laughs> you guys think this tough. Imagine a lady seeing your inverted nipples, dude. Because yeah. you had puffy nipples because you were going through puberty and the girls didn't even know what that was. So they thought you had weird nipples. <laughs> Fuck. And the one girl that gave head was in there. And you thought you had a chance. Until she saw your fat nipples at the Main Street gym. <laughs> It's all right. You got vinegar fries after the game, and that was worth it. <laughs> Dude, everybody saw your puppy nipples. Come in, airball away up, get some French fries. <laughs> Call it a day, dude. Back to the basement for Vigia games. Nothing can hurt us there. You have a fucking fun dip this day. <laughs> Full uniform, just crushing trying nachos. To for, I'm just trying to forget. I'm just, just trying to much, drain out the much pain. Fun dip, trying to forget, dude. Of the eighth grade girls seeing my nipples. <laughs> I worked with an African dude that African dude's. A, I worked wow. with an African dude that claimed he never jerked off, and he was picking up whores like up in Cobb's Creek, 
And he was like, yeah, you just pay him a little bit of money and they'll jerk you off. Like, why would you touch yourself? That's gay. And I was like, dude, I, I, I dude, think this he's was like right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah. think it is. It was I think like we're in a fallen it's state. Pathetic. I think we're in a fallen state. It was like for sure. It was like 2004. What the let me, fuck let me are you finish. talking about? Change it change change like this. Hold on. Let me finish. It was we're about 2004. <laughs> we're doing a church in in West Philly, yeah. and it had not been used in a long time. They wanted mm. to reopen it for the Baptists. It used to be a Catholic church. There was a bunch of there was families of raccoons in there. Mm-hmm. This African dude was catching the raccoons and making it his lunch and his dinner. No, yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah. What's, that game, what's that game? What's that gamey play? He Fallen? Was, yeah. <laughs> were, were you on an island? island? Fallout. Yeah. Yeah. Fallout. fallout? Yeah. It was pure yeah. Fallout level. That's dude. Fallout. So this dude catching raccoons in a broken down This church. dude came to Africa. He bought a used white Escalade and he came to paint with us. <sighs> And he was eating the raccoons as lunch with like some weird yellow. That's like rice. a guy who doesn't know how to play the video game. <laughs> yeah. That's just like you just eat these things. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. Dude. You just, it's like I just bought that car. I don't know what this car does. I don't know how to do this. What do you do? You go up to the steeple and catch lunch. <laughs> pulling up, pull up in a used Escalade to munch a yeah. raccoon you caught in a church is the fucking funniest shit. Ever. Yeah, dude. yeah, coons. What year? Mama just brushes them off with the broom. <laughs> he, <laughs> thought we were all, you idiot. he thought we were all sus for uh, jerking it, though. Dude, dude. He was like, we told him at lunch you one day. You guys are crazy. We told we're him, we, state, dude. We told him at lunch why? one day. It's gay that you're jerking your penis off. Yeah, it's, it's a, a wine, penis. dude. It's a penis. Oh, you haven't had any wine, you motherfucker. Well, the ancient Greeks always water the wine down, dude. Only a barbarian sips wine straight. <laughs> dude. <laughs> you suck, dude. <laughs> Wait, that's a little bit of wine you had? Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, bro. I, dude. <laughs> one it's what took down Alexander the Great. <laughs> Alexander, you know, the what? Alexander was doing some other stuff. Alexander there. the Great. Alexander the what? It didn't take him down, bro. We're talking about the boy. Alexander the Great. I'm saying it was the end of him. <laughs> He's drinking wine. The ancient Greeks, dude. Don't get me started on the fucking androgens. He was a kinglet. Who? <laughs> And it's Alexander, Alexander the Great. Alexander How about that great. fucking? Remember the movie? There, they just made him. Yeah, they no, just did him so hit piece, bad. Hit piece, what, dude. What As a hit the, piece, bro. The Oliver Stone uh, movie just hit piece. Gay as shit. The Jared whole Leto time. satanic yeah. ass. Yeah. Yeah. Just hit piece, dude. Feral, sucking dick the whole movie. What? Fuck yeah. that, dude. Just goes around being gay. They said you don't know the true story. Check out Asha Logos, dude. You don't know the true story. He's a Macedonian. He was a Macedonian king, right? Yes. Dude, Dude, honestly, God, though, I understand what you're saying about jerking off. It obviously obviously feels good. But if you think about it and you are the watcher of Shane Gillis in the bedroom, Uh, hunched over, how much much for that? How much for that? (laughs) What do you mean? (laughs) To be the watcher? (laughs) Oh, man. I know a lady that'll trade places with you for free. (laughs) 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 She wants out. (laughs) Uh, Dude, I'm at the point where I can just grip thigh. I'll grip thigh and just fap. Which is less. I'm pulling myself. I don't out understand like, what the that. I don't understand the hangup. I don't. There's like, no I hang literally up. I'm have just saying, I can see a thought process where you would think it's gay because I would feel like if you were like if you so, if you were so from fucking tape. Sudan. No, this yeah. guy was from know, Liberia. Didn't know that Liberia is the worst he was place from on Liberia. 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 Yeah. Liberia is the worst. His name is Francis. He's from Liberia. Shout General out Butt Francis. Naked, dude. Yeah. Shout out General Butt Naked. I can see where they're coming from. That's all I'm saying. Like if you sit there by yourself and touch your own penis when like, dude, they don't fuck with gay shit at all. If you're gay in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. they put you in tires and light them the fuck on yeah, fire. Yeah, I don't like it. Which they shouldn't do. Necklacing. Yeah. yeah. They shouldn't do that. So obviously, like, I can see where they're coming from where it's like, yeah, kind of gay to jerk yourself off and make you come watching. Yeah, but that's kind of like, woman. you're just saying that. What? You're, you've seen dudes get burnt with tires. You're sitting there like, yeah, it is gay to do anything. I don't like anything. True. I mean, that guy's definitely whacking off, dude. He's fair. eating fucking raccoons in a church. <laughs> That's high tea, though. That is high tea. It's high tea, man. It's dark you're meat. Me, you tell me Yo, you're not going to whack off after that? Raccoons are dark meat. Crazy. Are they really? Yeah. Like, do you crush bottles of water? I don't know. That. Constantly. All right. So he has, like, you could easily just fucking go get tap water, right? This dude has. No, tap water is bad. This dude game sharked it. And he's hitting the fucking hookers under the L. It's the same as a bottle of water to him. Why would he jerk off? Why would he go to the tap? He can get it from the hookers. You can, but you want to buy a bottle of water? He wants to get a hooker. Dude, Francis, one day terrible at lunch, analogy. one day at lunch, he was like, wait, you this all, is, dude, terrible analogy. one day at work, he was like, you all jerk off. And we were like, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> you were all gay. You were all children. <laughs> dude, I, he might've came here just to do that. He's like, only children do that. <laughs> Have you ever looked into Liberia's civil war? I have no idea. Up. No. It's uh, 
that guy came that guy <laughs> for real came from hell that fucking game they we were just people. talking about oh really yes Liberia Civil War had like are they the Hebrews cannibal stuff? gangs of roving know. cannibals yes dude general yeah. butt naked it was, they would have guys that were like <laughs> warlords named like general mosquito and yeah. then his rival would come up and be like general bug repellent <laughs> like <laughs> one guy's name was like general Osama bin Laden <laughs> like, they would just, Where, I don't know if it was Liberia but one of those places something happened where like someone came through and was like yo you gotta eat like they like, people got talked into eating a bunch of people because they were like you'll get cursed if you don't do it and like People came forward. They found out like there was a bunch of cannibalism, and a bunch of people came forward. Like, yo, I munched. Yeah, I munched. General Butt Naked did that. Yeah. Really? He used to munch kids before battle, and then one day he said he was holding this child, I think like a four year old. Really? And he was like, and I knew God was watching, and he I could see munch. God in that baby. And then he munched the baby, and then after he was like, "That's enough. That was fucked up. I got to stop." I gotta turn <laughs> he around. still munched the one that he That's was Wendigo, like. That's Wendigo, dude. And then he became. I uh, was what. Wendigo. Now he's a Christian. Now he's a pastor. Really? He's still General around. Butt Naked, dude. They didn't even arrest him, I don't think. Holy shit. Liberia's fucked up. Liberia's having a tough time. You know what the capital of Liberia is? What? Monrovia. Really? You know why? Why? Because of President Monroe. They gave it to him. Yes. The slaves went back to Liberia. Oh, you know yeah. What they they did when they got there? <laughs> what? Each other started slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were like, you know, we, Billy's got a we fun learned fact. how to do slavery. Billy's got a fun <laughs> fact. Just, nah, they came nah, back. Well, that was like Bill the most brutal pyramid scheme they've ever had. Like, Yo, dude, I got a. <laughs> Bill has a fun fact about save slavery. That what fun fact? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I can save it for the Patreon. Okay, sick. All right, what is it? Nice CTA. Um, first person ever buy slavery in America. I hired a guy for like forty dollars to come fucking hang that off the internet on TaskRabbit. Really? Yeah, yeah. You can just order Mexicans I still get, to come I still over get and, emails. <laughs> and make them do stuff. I, I still get emails for those. Like in my my email from like five years. Or Were you doing it seven years ago? I they deleted my profile almost immediately. Why on TaskRabbit? I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. You must I, have caught some complaints. Dude. Yeah, I was like banned immediately. You coming into people's get, houses? Like, yeah, I get emails. <laughs> <laughs> I get emails for like TV professional ha hanging quotes because that was like the thing I put on. I'm like, yeah, I could I could do that, I guess. Because Task Rabbit, you just sign up and they're like, what can you do? And you're like, yeah. well, I guess I'll put toilet and yep. TV hanging, and they don't check. So you can uh, you can just say you can do yeah. anything. True. Well, you you can't really have credentials for that, yeah. I guess. I can tutor you math to and I can unclog a toilet. <laughs> That's how we have so to if you staff got, up if you our got new some show. Chinese folks with bad diets. <laughs> I'm on my way over. What did yes. you do? Any tasks? Or you no, just made yeah, a like I said, they banned. Yeah, they banned me almost like right away. Why? They, like, I don't know. I you no get to do from one task. Uh, no, yeah, uh, but I still <laughs> get the up. emails from from. It might not even be Task Rabbit. It might be like some other thing because it was like when I was scrambling for. Yeah, yeah for I have work. an Amazon yeah. Flex application. I get like things every now and again what's for. It, what's Amazon Flex? It's like deliver. Oh, Amazon okay. packages. You were going to deliver packages? Yeah, I was going to deliver Dude, packages. remember when I did Uber for... Yes. <laughs> I did four rides over the course of like two years. You never yeah. Ubered, dude. Never did it. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, I need to get money this week. Yeah. Video games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, I'm gonna wait till night. You can do like I'll be four, like, I'm more of a nighttime driver. Like I'm gonna wait till traffic's done, <laughs> which which is the only time you should be Ubering yeah. is when there's fucking traffic. It is I'll weird. Like, I'll wait till like it's, it's and it's, then we go to an open mic and then I'd I be can't blacked imagine, out. I can't imagine being an Uber driver here, just sitting in traffic all fucking day yeah. long. They're going to a place that has, yeah. you have no interest in. Yeah. Yeah. It's You're not getting up. out of the car at the end of the ride, especially in Philly. It was just picking up Asians. Yeah. yeah, it was just because oh, we were right by the art museum. Again. So it was just. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I just crashed my car. So it was just. Uh... I need. Right... I just crashed. Thank God you're here. I just crashed my fucking car again. <laughs> yeah, they would, and then or tour. It was just tourists because it was the art museum. Asian tourists. Yeah. They're I want to see there. the bear. They want to see the Riverty bear. <laughs> so what happened to this bear? Somebody crashed a car into it? The bear fucking car. This is a car accident. Lucky steps. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they do swim into the rocky stuff, though. They love they rocky. rocky. Of course they love rocky. It's a big, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Rocky's a hit. For yeah, because sure. well, that's, that's like karate to them. Right, yeah, like that's their thing is karate and boxing's like yeah, a no type feet of, karate, no feet karate, yeah, yes, yeah, the soccer of karate, reverse soccer karate. That's what they call it in China. <laughs> they actually Re chant that in front of the statue every day. That yeah. sketch we wrote like eight years ago. What is this ago? like reverse so soccer? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I picked up some krauts one time, and they were they were like the city's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, how dare! I they? was so close. How to dare just, they? Did they say it like that? Because Germans, you guys, Germans are usually polite. 
Germans are like nice. Yeah, but nobody's yeah. nice to a fat white Uber driver. Really? Uh-huh. No one cares. Mm. Yeah, the people oh, treat you kind of weird when you dude, drive those Uber. Were so mean to me. Who was? Those Korean boys. Yeah, they're tough. They they're were very fucking, top dude, down. Dude, they're dude, bad boys. They were speaking dude, in Korean and then boys. broke for <laughs> one second to be like, this fucking guy. Yeah. Like, it was one of those like colloquial, or I guess, is that the right word? What I mean? kind of yeah, Koreans were they? Were, like, they, were they like they were, fast they were and furious kind? No, they were like oh, university. Oh, international. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Virginia Tech shooter vibe. <laughs> yeah, they but they packed it, dude. I was driving this yeah. small ass Corolla. Yeah. Fucking five of them got it. <laughs> and the one that talked shit was like in the middle, like leaning forward. So he was like right here. Yeah. What was he saying? He was speaking fucking, you know, oh, bullshit. Yeah. yeah. And then I know one, I say, of the, oh. one of the things was like, oh, fuck him. You know? Yeah. Fuck yeah. him. Dude, I worked for a him, Korean guy. Man. They were very much like, if they're the owner of a business, they're a king. Yeah, like he would he would come into his office and knock yeah. stuff on the floor on purpose, and the like his subordinate Koreans would come in and like pick it up for him. <laughs> he would do it as like a loyalty exercise. You said, it, you said it before that the Koreans are the Jews of the Asians. I don't remember saying they're that. Kind but of, they're kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that. I did. They're, I did. They're, like, uh, they're, they're, they're every. They're everything. Like yeah. every pick any race and apply it to Koreans. I don't know. Of the I kind of I kind of feel that because it's like a comeback story mm. too. They are because they, they got holocausted. And they came up heavy, <laughs> like after like the they fucking... got like Holocausted and Dresden. They yeah. got like both of them. They got it double. <laughs> yeah, and they came back, and then they they came here and opened liquor stores and had their mm-hmm. daughters and get fucked by roof. me.